హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ రాజశేఖర్ మైసూర్ ఫ్రమ్ చిరాగ్ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాక్టాలజీ జేపీ నగర్ సెకండ్ ఫేస్ బెంగళూర్ ఫీకల్ ఇన్కాంటినెన్స్ మీన్స్ వెన్ వీ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు కంట్రోల్ ది ప్యాసేజ్ ఆఫ్ స్టూల్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఫీకల్ ఇన్కాంటినెన్స్ ఇన్ ది సెన్స్ వెన్ ది పేషెంట్ అప్లైస్ ప్రెషర్ ఆన్ ది అబ్డమెన్ డ్యూ టు లాఫ్టర్ ఆర్ డ్యూ టు సమ్ అదర్ రీజన్స్ వెయిట్ లిఫ్టింగ్ సడన్లీ మోషన్ కమ్స్ అవుట్ విట్ షుడ్ నాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఫర్ అ నార్మల్ పర్సన్ so normal person there are two muscles called sphincters which will be keeping the anal canal closed so only when we feel like passing stools then it should relax otherwise we will be able to hold it for quite some time so there are two sphincters which are essential one is uh, what you call the external sphincters which will be able to hold for some time there is internal sphincter which is what we call as autonomic sphincter where we will not have hold but automatically it will be controlling the passage of uh, stools when these muscles are not working properly either because of injury or because of some nerve disorders or the sensation is lost in that area due to some diseases then people develop what is called incontinence so one of the methods of treatment of incontinence is what we call as a biofeedback where we train the sphincter muscles and the muscles involved in that area to hold it so simply if you train people may not be able to assess that so there are certain gadgets called sphincterometers so we'll put it inside the anal canal ask the patient to squeeze and he'll be able to observe how much he is able to squeeze by numbers so as he tries to do it he'll be able to understand how much he has to squeeze whether he is squeezing properly or not and all so that is what is called bio feedback mechanism means we are using the biological mechanisms and we get the feedback from the machine to see whether we are doing it properly and is it improving day by day so that patients will be able to do it better that's called biofeedback mechanism